Father's Day is this weekend, and we are learning about a recipe that is phenomenal for dad that involves chicken fried bacon. That yes. sounds great, Janine. Hey, but before we break out the chicken fried bacon, the uh -huh. Mac Daddy of all garnishes, we have to build our salad. All right, well, let's get so started. This salad is versatile. It works for grilled meats. It mm -hmm. works for barbecue. I mean, whatever you can, you know, plan for your menu uh -huh. on Sunday, this is the salad that you want to go to. And let me tell you, your dad called. He said he did yeah. not want a necktie. He wanted bow ties. Oh, in really? His salad. So well, he does like a good home cooked meal. Hey, Jenny. I'm telling you. So we need to definitely add those bow tie pastas. Okay. And I'm going to tell you about this dressing. This is barbecue ranch dressing, two ingredient dressing. Oh, ranch. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just your favorite ranch. You can even make it homemade. Uh -huh. And then just add your favorite barbecue sauce. About two or three tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce. Everybody's got their favorite. If mm -hmm. you make it homemade. Absolutely, go right ahead and do so. Okay. And then we're going to layer in these delicious ingredients. We've got fresh corn from the farmer's market. Okay, corn we've, going in. We've got some bell pepper. Okay. You could use a jalapeno if your dad likes a little heat. Okay. Um, you could use spring onions, but I thought the red onions brought some color to the to the party here. Okay. We've got um, yellow and red grape tomatoes. All right. Some black olives. You could also add up. like chickpeas, um, sliced. Uh, you know, egg if you wanted to. If dad's a vegetarian, you know, that would definitely be the way to go uh, for that. Okay. But if he's not, then we are going to step it up with um, some grilled chicken. Now, have you ever seen this trick? This has been kind of going around on social media. You take a mixer uh -huh. and you take your grilled chicken and a little bit of barbecue sauce and then you just whirl it around like this mm -hmm. and you get shredded chicken. Okay. Isn't that a cool trick? That is pretty neat. Yeah, and um, I'm a little bit nervous about putting it on high speed because I wore a white dress and I don't want to wear it. Ah, don't be <laughs> nervous. Crank that thing up. Turn her loose, Janine. Let's see what happens. Hey, man. Woo, I let am me step wild. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These get, guys. Hand me that mixture. I'll, I'll, I'll put the heat to it. I'm telling you. So, so actually, this works better when your chicken is warm. Exactly. Or hot, right? When you pull it right off of the grill, then um, you just whirl it like that with oh. your mixer. And then we're going to top it with our barbecue chicken. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. And then there we just. Go. There we go. We'll stir that in. We've got our ranch dressing. Let's pour a little bit of this over top okay. and grab those two spoons there and then just give that a good mix. So see, okay. we've got a hearty, bold flavored pasta here. Um, it's a main dish pasta with our, uh, you know, barbecued chicken on top of that. Oh, that looks really good. What about good. our chicken fried bacon, And Jeanine? here we go with our big daddy, our fry okay. daddy. Here we go okay. on Father's Day, our chicken well, fried all, bacon. By all means, that, let's top it absolutely. off, Janine. Absolutely. And that is wonderful. Um, it's an egg mm -hmm. and some seasoned flour. Uh -huh. You just run your strips through that, fried in a skillet, and I'm telling you, it is heavenly. I had to try Janine. one quality. I, hate, I cannot go. endorse your product unless I try it, Janine. Sterling, you have to go. What do you think? You got the crunchy on the outside, wow. just like fried chicken, <laughs> and a and yeah. a oh yeah, and then you've got your crispy chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, not your crispy chicken, stuff. your crispy bacon. It's delicious. That it is. All right. For more information on Janine, go to our website wdrb.com, and you can find the recipe there.